There are around 22 island countries in the world and the Republic of Cape Verde is one. An archipelagic state otherwise known as a country made up from a cluster or collection of islands. The archipelago known as Cape Verde is made up of 10 islands and 5 islets. The country is located in the central Atlantic Ocean, consisting of 10 volcanic islands with a combined land area of about 4,033 square kilometers. These islands lie between 600 to 850 kilometers west of Cape Verde, situated at the westernmost point of continental Africa. The Cape Verde Islands form part of the Macaronesia Eco region, along with the Azores, the Canary Islands, the Madeira and Savage Isles. Cape Verde, also known as Cabo Verde, was a Portuguese colony before independence and has praia meaning beach in Portuguese as its capital city. Although Portuguese is the official language, Criollo, one of the oldest of the Portuguese Creole languages, is by far the most widely spoken. According to World Meta elaboration of the latest United Nations data as of November 2021, the population of Cape Verde is around 564,447 people. The Cape Verde archipelago was uninhabited until the 15th century, when Portuguese explorers discovered and colonized the islands, thus establishing the first European settlement in the tropics. Due to its convenient location, the Cape Verde Islands played a significant role during the Atlantic slave trade era. Cape Verde became economically prosperous during the 16th and 17th centuries, attracting merchants, privateers, and pirates. It declined economically in the 19th century due to the suppression of the Atlantic slave trade and many of its inhabitants emigrated during the period. However, Cape Verde gradually recovered economically by becoming an important commercial center and useful stopover point along major shipping roads. In 1951, Cape Verde was incorporated as an overseas department of Portugal and in 1975, Cape Verde officially gained independence from Portugal. Since the early 1990s, Cape Verde has enjoyed a stable representative democracy and has remained one of the most developed and democratic countries in Africa. Cape Verdeans are predominantly Roman Catholics, reflecting the legacy of Portuguese rule. An overwhelming majority of the population of Cape Verde is of mixed European and African descent and is often referred to as Mestico or Criollo. There is also an African minority, which includes the Fulani, the Balanti, and the Madiako people. A small population of European origin includes those of Portuguese descent, especially from the Algarve, a historic province, and the Alzos Islands, as well as those of Italian, French, and English descent. Cape Verde has a developing economy. The economy of the country is a service-oriented economy that is focused on commerce, trade, transport and public services, and a growing focus on tourism and foreign investments, contributing hugely to our gross domestic product GDP. Worthy of note is the South Island, one of the smallest yet the most popular island in Cape Verde, famous for its gorgeous white sandy beaches, the coast shores, and bustling tourist resorts. Interestingly, the country is the third largest nesting site for local head turtle, and the Boa Vista's waters are a breeding ground for humpback whales. A promising and breathtaking site for a chance to spot these mighty mammals in their natural habitat in this place. Although centuries of Portuguese colonial culture have dominated the islands, Native African traditions are still present in the country. Both cultures are much blended in the cultural life of the average Cape Verdean, evidence of which is apparent in the country's literary, musical and artistic production.
The cultural synthesis that forms Cape Verdean artistic tradition is notable in the rich body of oral narratives known as Nholobo tales. Musical traditions from Africa are reborn in Cape Verde as batuco, derived from the Portuguese verb meaning to beat, a genre that features polyrhythm and response performed by a group of women. There is always something unique about Africa and for Cape Verde it can best be described as a country that has survived several centuries of colonial dominance yet upholds its African heritage. The country has also proved that Africa has the potentials towards achieving stable political and economic systems. Cape Verde is one of the safest welcoming and friendly country to visit.